Janet Yellen, President Obama's choice to replace Ben Bernanke as chief of the Federal Reserve, is set to become the world's most powerful economic policymaker. Job creation must be a high priority of monetary policy. 67 years old, she would be the first woman to run the organization. The recovery is not proceeding at a pace uh, that is sufficient to bring down unemployment very rapidly. A focus on reducing unemployment and her warnings about the housing bubble have won Dr. Yellen the support of many liberal Democrats. Janet Yellen is going to, I hope, will make a terrific Federal Reserve chair. Many economists like her, too. They expect her to continue the Fed's stimulus campaign. But Dr. Yellen is a relative unknown at the White House and is part of a more liberal group of policymakers, primarily women. It's a group that has clashed at times with the president's centrist, mostly male advisors, including Larry Summers, who earlier withdrew his name from consideration for the Fed job. Senate Democrats are expected to line up to support her. Republicans, however, are likely to oppose anyone selected by the Obama administration, and some have already expressed reservations. I want to make sure that she doesn't view herself as an enabler of, uh, of bad policy. But filibustering Dr. Yellen could prove politically risky for a party already struggling to attract female voters. If confirmed, Dr. Yellen would take over for Ben Bernanke on January 31st.